from the hitch boot and you attack? No, absolutely. You can, yeah, no, every hitchman is a another body for you to attack. Once again, though, uh, I will reiterate, you only win the scenario when all three dragon heads are down. Um, so, I mean, it's your call. The dragon whelps aren't going to do too much, but they're all going to have a chance to attack you on their on my next round. So please keep that in mind. It's going to get progressively harder now. And also, when I roll those henchmen things from the la the previous rounds, now those henchmen are going to start to do more stuff. So killing the henchmen is actually going to be something you may want to think about. Back I think wouldn't be as great. Um, so here's what I'm saying. This for sure, mm -hmm. and the reason why is because it's the, a lesser bow that you can't use two of. Yes. So that for sure. Yeah. Uh, carousing is actually really good because you're spending one to gain a permanent additional endurance every turn, mm -hmm. and then at some point later on when you got plenty, you can always discard it to make a card. So let's look here. Um, you definitely want to get that out. You definitely want to get that out. Um, gosh, two, four, six now. Um, so three for this, and then there's three, two, attack one, attack two. I would say you have increased this, get out a good weapon, and burn a faint point to attack. Well, I, well, yeah. you know, uh, no, I, here, here's the thing. So I want him to be able to attack with both of them. That's my ultimate Ah, good point. Yeah. So if he spends three, plays this, he has three. If he spends this, he still has three with carousowing. Um, he can't do both. Yeah. And I'd rather see him do the bow attack because it's more damage and better to hit. Yeah. But he can still get this out. So I think that's what I would do if I were you. I would go ahead and we'll do that later. We'll do that later. That, that'll be next turn. We'll go ahead and spend three. And I would probably play Warfare mm -hmm. to go ahead and buff your melee. Okay. So that's going to give you a 15 or better. So now you have three. I would go ahead and spend one, play Carousowing. And now you can automatically exhaust that to gain a one that you just spent. Mm -hmm. So you technically still have three. So now that you have three, uh, you do have a fate point. So you can do one of a couple things. You can go ahead and spend three, put this out, use your fate point to attack with your bow or your sword. I recommend the bow. Or you can just go ahead and simply do two attacks right now uh, and do your basic melee and go ahead and do your range. And you would have one left over. Uh, you could use the poison weapon on your bow. Arson, I kind of like poison weapon on the bow, do the two attacks, and then put this out next turn. That's my opinion. You can do whatever you like. That works out pretty good, I thought. I think so. Yeah, because this I'm spending too much. So, uh, to get that out and put it on the bow. So, what we'll do, we'll make it easy. We're going to slip it right underneath here. Just like that. Oh, uh, okay. I was and then that wondering way what the good configuration would be. That's how I do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you spent one to do that. Mm -hmm. That gives you two left. You've got one for that attack, one for that attack. So go for it. Okay. So. Which attack were you doing? I'm sorry. Uh, ranged attack first. On your bow? Yep. Do me a favor and go ahead and exhaust that so I know you're using this. Okay. So that was a hit. I saw that. So that's a 1d6 plus 4, and you now have poison on it. Mm -hmm. So anytime you do damage, it does an additional damage. So basically, it's a 1d6 plus 5. Okay, so go ahead and roll damage. This is a d6. D6 for damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I want to resolve that then, first before I move on. Absolutely. And then who are we attacking? You cannot attack the air, so it can either be mm -hmm. fire or orc because he has a bow. Okay, bullet. so the air currently, all these henchmen. All these henchmen have uh, 6 health, 6 health, 12 health, 6 health, 12 health, 2 armor. Two armor, two armor, two armor, two armor. So you need okay. eight to kill something out. If you yeah. basically could do eight, you could kill any dragon well. Yeah, the thing that surprises me is I thought that and it would have been an interesting balancing act that you would have to get through the henchmen to get through any of the henchmen. You're telling me that that's... There's no rule that I'm aware of 
that you cannot attack. Well, think of it this way. Um, henchmen are in front of you, but the dragons are way above them. And you were in front of them before the henchmen. Yeah, so now you're kind of squished in a sandwich. Okay. So you've got the dragon on one side of you, the henchman on the other side of you. So you can turn either direction and attack either one you want. That's how I look at it because you're head to head with them and these guys are sneaking up behind you. As they came in late to the party. In certain scenarios though, yes you'd be right. Where the henchman would block like the, the leader. In this scenario yeah. that doesn't happen. Right? Okay, yep. that's a good difference. Yeah. So, uh, who do you want to attack, Morris? Do you want to attack the fire or you want to attack the orb? I would go for fire. I'm, I'm thinking fire. So, go ahead and roll 1d6 plus 5 damage. So, that is 10 damage. He does have 2 armor, so he'll take 8 damage. So, I'm going to take the 20 off and put 12 on. 5, 10, 11, 12. Okay, you still have another attack, don't you? Your melee, basic yes. melee attack. So, go ahead and roll your d20. And then your basic melee is 15. So go ahead and roll that 15 or under. Okay, you did not succeed. You may use that, absolutely. So go ahead. Yep, I'll swap you. You got him. 15. All right, that's a hit. Go ahead and roll 1d6 damage. And I'm going to assume you're going for the fire again. So that's 5 damage minus 2 armor is 3. So we're going to put 5 off and put 3 back on here. Okay, two off. Excuse me. Yeah, you're right. All right, good job. You did some good damage there, Morris. All right, Doug. All right. So, one, two for endurance. That brings me up a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I know where this is going. Nine of them for the ox herd. All right, so why don't you read that to everybody so they can understand what that means? Tap it and attack. The attack takes a minus four to hit. But it is 2d6 plus 6. 2d6 plus 6 damage, and it's such a large weapon, it's encumbering. So it minuses 4 to hit. But if he does, chain massive damage. Yeah. It's a chain flail is what it is. I wouldn't try it except that I start out with a 14. I already have Warcraft for another uh, 3. So I have to normally hit on a 17, now a 13, which still isn't shit. still isn't shit. That isn't bad. And he's got a couple of fate points to mitigate those die rolls as well. So that kind of brings the balance of the game. With that, with that card, because I looked at that card at first and said minus four looks terrible. But when you get fake points, you get to re-roll it two or three times. It's really great. Yeah, it's a little brutal anyway at nine. Um, All right, so you. yeah, roll for it. I'm gonna do one more thing. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn two fake points. That's fine. Uh, to bring it as endurance to bring out wooden shield. Okay. It's just protection one, but I can tap it for free to make your opponent re-roll the damage dice from an attack. Uh, Okay, that's fine, but I don't roll damage dice for attack. I just do. Oh, no, I do. I do. You're right. No, I do. I'm sorry. You're right. Yep, go right ahead. You go right ahead. I apologize. Okay. I misspoke. No, that's fine. And so, last endurance, tapping to attack. Let this please work the ore drag. 13. Is that your number? Yep. Okay, good luck. Yes! Ooh. All right. 2d6 plus 6. Three. Okay, do good. Uh, 13, 13 damage. damage. He has four armor. He takes nine points of hit. All right, so yeah. 20 off. Yeah. 11 back on. So, yeah, because he has such that, that high protection. Very, very Here's good. the nasty weapon on Very, him. very good. All right. So is that your turn, Doug? That's all I got. <laughs> very good, man. All right, Mike, go ahead, buddy. Fire the howitzer. I just want you, or did we just not talk cards for you yet? No, we dropped it. Because we got to draw the short bow, remember? Yeah, we drew the short bow. Uh, and the short bow, and I don't remember what the other one was. No. I didn't drop it. Either. No, uh, Aeolis? What was that one? Uh, must take a weapon, armor, or put the choice back in their hand. The four oh, yeah, that's yeah, because from off. That, yeah, I, they don't have weapon, armor, equipment. That's what I was going to drop. So we dropped that. You have six endurance now. Use four of it. And you've got, and you've got, you've got two people too. I will do. Yeah. You nailed it. Alright, good job. Oh, 
and I assume we're using this. Against. Each player that voted against this card is a fire dragon. Seven damage to the fire dragon, so it's just two armor that takes five. I'm just going to try to pull up the fire dragon again. So you could use it on not just you, but anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like totally get that. So if you want my opinion? Yeah. We'll use it on if the dwarf was doing two days since that's 60. Exactly what I was thinking. Well, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Just a quick, I want to do just a quick health count. What's everybody's health at? 33. 38. 37. 35. Okay, so 
33 is low. Okay, very good. Pretty good, guys. I, good. Don't, I don't like the way he says, oh, that's the low. Bring, guy. bring that up to 35. Okay, so Kerry's feeling you, Mike, to 35, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank him. Well, that's what I was trying to. <laughs> I know, I'm teasing. <laughs> okay, as long as we know that. Thank you both. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for watching my character. That's right, we got you, buddy. Gives me plus two to all my stats. <laughs> plus two to everything. Everything. Holy cow! <laughs> all right, so uh, Kerry is basically giving himself a plus two to his range, a plus two to his magic, and a plus two to his melee all in one turn. Whoa. So he just came up. So that, that was my opinion once we got a chance to actually look at that deck later on. It's like, early on you don't seem like much, but it's on now. It, 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 it definitely ramps very early, so. Okay, very good. That's a hit. All right, so roll me 2d6 plus two, I believe. So that is six, is eight, and he is armored. so he takes four points of damage. You guys are doing good. I was going to give you another attack, but Doug said no, so... <laughs> I was trying to think, how do I explain that when you're exhausted? Yeah. So here's how this is going to work. Uh, the first thing that's going to happen is that that immunity is going to go away. The next thing that's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and attack with the three dragons. The next thing after that is going to happen is I'm going to remove a time power, and if something happens, I'll let you know. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to attack with the minions first. And then do the time. So to go left to right, starting with the dragons, left to right, starting with the minions. So, uh, or dragon. It's a 10. Uh, every henchman makes an action roll. So here we go. First one, 18. Nothing happens. The Morrow roars menacingly. Yeah, that's one of the worst. Uh, menacingly, excuse me, I can't read. Uh, the next dragon, well, 12. Swamp down. The hero with the most hand cards must discard a random one from their hand. Who has the most cards in their hand? You have six. You have six. Oh, I have six. Oh, okay. So it's actually going to be my. Oh, right. crap. This is not a. Oh, wait. Yeah, but I. I, I draw an herb. Yeah, yeah. You guys should not have drawn yet if, if you yep. have. So. so you have four as well? Yes. Hold on, hold on. You have four as well. Yeah, four so you guys, you guys have a tie. So, real quick. Here's how this normally would work in a tie. I would take your token, hand me your token real quick, Mike, and what we would do, and you could do it a couple different ways, but this is the way we do it in Aventuria. Right. Since it's a tie, we randomly draw a token, whoever gets the token flipped up, that's who the card gets done. Any ties, that's how we usually do it. So I'm gonna flip it up. Okay, so we're gonna get one from you, very good. Okay. And we'll just take that one right good. there. All right, that doesn't hurt you too bad. Sorry. I, think. I mean, Sorry, it could've been better, could've been worse. At least it wasn't like some major weapon. <laughs> Alright, so that's done. Um, where am I now? That was the Ore Dragon. Yep. Uh, now you gotta do the Air Dragon. Well, the Ore Dragon actually roll for every henchman takes oh. an action, and now I'm going through those. First um, I did the first Dragon well, so now I'm on the third cult, or the Cultist. He rolled a three. It's a bite attack. The starting player, which is gonna be Morris, mm. is gonna suffer. 2d6 damage, Ow. and then Morrow loses two health, which is good, and then makes uh, another action roll. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the 2d6 damage real quick. Uh, that's going to be two. That's going to be seven damage you're going to lose. Loss of life cannot be prevented by armor. Only attack damage. I just want to make sure everybody Does understands. Anything actually attacks. Yeah. Yeah. These are these are attacks. Like what he just did was an attack. So if you have, oh, you get to dodge. Since I attacked you, you get to roll dodge. I'm okay, sorry. That's right. Yeah. So your dodge number is your boot number on the right hand side, which I think is a six. Eight. Eight. Excuse me. Yeah, exactly. So if you roll an eight or less, you take half damage rounded up. So go ahead and roll me an eight or less, please. I would have liked to. Okay. Your your roll becomes a three. Okay, so he just played a card that made your card 
your uh, roll a three automatically, so that's a success. So you're gonna take half damage. I did seven, cool. so half a seven is 3.5, so round it up, and you take four points of damage. So, you. so go ahead and take four points of damage. Which class are you playing? So here's what happens. Uh, you have the the witch. Oh, the witch? Yeah. So yeah. as you see, guys, Person, I'm actually so. uh, taking points, health points away from these guys, but this is gonna start to get a lot, so I'm actually gonna add damage to the minions. So I want that to be clear. If the damage is off the card, that's how much they have left. If it's on the card, that's how much they've taken. So there's no confusion. So he actually, because of that attack, suffers two health, but he gets to make another roll. And he rolls 16. Uh, he, he roars menacingly. Dragon Whelp's gonna go. He rolled an eight. It's a attack of range. A random hero suffers 1d6 plus two. So I need everybody to give me their tokens and throw them in the middle, please. Somebody roll more. All right, and then I'm gonna grab all these. I'm gonna go behind the back here so I can't remember what I'm doing. The easiest way to send the blind guy pick it out. Oh, uh, here, that's a great idea. Why did I think about that? All right, so there you go. Let me see, we'll go with the uh, pack. This one right here? Yep. All right, very good. And it was you. No, I'm just kidding. It wasn't you. That's fine. I take less damage. So, Mike, it's going to be you again. Yeah. So, what's going to happen is you run a I don't have anything against the Ranger. 1d6 plus 2. So, it's going to be 4 damage. Do you have any armor? You do get to dodge. So, make sure you go ahead and dodge. Yep. That was a trap. No dodge. So, no dodge. You're going to take 4 damage. Whatever counts as a dragon. All right, so that guy's done. The dragon wealth, does it count as a dragon? Yes, it has the keyword dragon on it. Yep. Yes, so See, they if do. If it would have hit me, it would have done two. Well, yep. is, it, is it a fire dragon? It just says dragon on so okay, it's a so dragon it's a class. One point less damage for yep. me. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do the last dragon wealth here. 17, nothing happens. Uh, so now that the ore is done, we can go to the air. <laughs> I told you it gets worse. Uh, nine. Uh, the head cannot be attacked during the round, so he's going to get back to the immunity again. That's actually not the worst thing in the world for you guys. Fire Dragon. A five. Uh, every hero suffers 2d6 damage. Can anybody do anything about that? That's the fire guy? Fire guy. He's mean. Okay. Yeah, uh, it is an attack. So everybody make me a dodge roll, please. And then just keep it in front of you. Ho ho! Nice. Oh, nice, Morris. Yes. Roll good. Roll good. Nine. Not quite. Not quite enough. Not quite. Okay. So keep it in front of you. I rolled four and five. So that's that one. I can re-roll. Have you re-roll the damage? The damage, sure. On so nine, I want to roll that one down. On the five, you'll, okay, very good. Hopefully you don't roll a twelve. I rolled one less. Oh, is it one? Well, no, no. Damage dice, okay. Yeah, so you're making me re-roll one of those two d6s one time. Re Here, let me see the card. Re-roll the damage dice. So, make your opponent re-roll the damage dice from the attack. Okay, dice I'll re-roll. Yep. yep, so I'll re-roll them both. That's a six. Oh. And that's a six. <laughs> the, I mean, I rolled a nine, so the odds were going to be lower. So oh, that's going to be 12 guys. damage. If you succeeded in a dodge, it's six. If you didn't, it's 12. If you have armor, you can mitigate the damage. I only take 10. Okay, very good. So I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and get you 10. The only armor I had out was the shield. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Druid Healer over there, you're going to have your work cut out for you at this point. Yeah. Guys, I, I told you. It's, Two points. It, yeah, he's good. Yeah. It gets, it, but that is the end of my turn. I am going to go ahead and remove a counter. We are at five. Nothing happens at five. Okay, time to go all on kick smash. So at this point, guys, you guys can go ahead and do, uh, we move the action token over to Doug. Doug, let's kill some stuff, man. I want to see these things go. All right. I'm tired of looking at them. Drew two cards. No, I mean, you got, um, technically you're right. Um, they, yeah, they would If you have a reactionary card, you would not be able to do it. Um, but that's fine. Go ahead and do it anyway. I knew I should have kept that card. You go ahead and draw your two cards. Yep, two cards. I drew two cards, and I'm gonna play. And Carrie, to answer your question honestly, armor. You're, you're absolutely correct. But six. as a DM, that's one of those kind of washy rules. You can go either way. It really depends if you're just you know want to have some fun and, and kill a dragon. But you, technically, yes, you're right. I like to try to play it to the letter of the law, but I'll be the first one to tell you I make a lot of mistakes. So this game's only been out for a little less than a year. So I've only played it, you know, 
I hand four times. Yeah, uh, most of the time I play it at home by myself, and I don't. And, I, and I've only had this Dragon expansion for now four days. So this is the third time I've ever ran it. So I'm probably making mistakes, and I apologize once again. Yeah. pretty badly uh, all right and uh, was that what okay so forgive me what did you miss with the you ox herd so yeah. I need you to know hit with I the ox herd okay very good so go ahead and exhaust your ox herd so you know that we use that for that successful attack yeah so do me a favor if you guys have multiple weapons go ahead and exhaust them so I know what you're doing per attack and I, I'm not saying you're cheating or anything like that but it's for the cameras really or anything else or at least declare it, I know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Four damage, so ten. Okay, and you're doing it to the ore dragon? Yeah. So he has four armor, so he's going to take six damage. I'm taking six damage off. What was the first critical success? You get to draw a card. Okay. Uh, all right. Also oh, one thing damage. I also want to mention, too, is that the enemies actually have a critical success and a critical failure action. If they get a critical success, they get an additional action. If they get a critical failure, all subsequent actions for that particular character end. So, there are certain leaders in this game that can have multiple actions right. based on the number of heroes. In this particular case, all of them would normally get one action. Whose turn is it? Oh, uh, my, my turn. Oh, yeah. oh, so I, uh, where do I do with those cards? Right here. Yep. Well, all right, so you drew them. You got Jim, you got the slate of hand. Right. So, you got five, one, two, three, four, five.
this. Yeah. I will make tap this to be magical. Success. Nice. Use one of these drawing cards. I'll play the Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I mean. Well, well, I didn't even think I didn't even know he had any damage on the ball there. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think, uh, Mike attacked you for two earlier in the round. Melee attack against the dragon. Uh, no, he's, uh, yes. 20, 30, uh, 30, no, 36. Okay, 36. So, we got so there's some, been some damage, but the last two rounds he's had immunity. So you guys yeah, haven't been up on attack. Yeah. He's off yeah. my magic instead of my best. So I'm Yes, sir. He's got four armor. He's the toughest one to kill. This cost me one. D6 plus six. We're doing really well. Wow. That which is doing Critical success. Good job. And then D6 plus six, so nine. Nine more. So he's going to take five off. He's down to six health, guys. Doing great. Hey, good turn. Al, Al, the stupid other thing is not immune next. Uh, I'm good. Yeah. I think that's it. That's what I'm worried about. We might still want a flanking. You already did a magic attack. I did magic ranged and. Very good. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Does that feel good when you get three attacks? It feels really good. Okay. So, imagination of this game. You know, I. Spend six to go ahead and get some armor on. Okay. Yeah, but I have no way to do armor. Put a third in play here. I, have okay. like, I can get a one armor. And then I've got four that's the most I can get. Right. Here. So, yeah. Perfect. Let's get the magic done. And that's an exhaust okay. one. Unless, oh, don't your characters have permanent abilities? Also, they can do? dragon. That's a no. I, I missed on that. So I don't know. Like oh, the, yeah, yours. Um, yeah, yours. Um, oh, it got flipped over. You get to go ahead and do it. Yep. And you don't have anything in your discard pile right now, so that doesn't affect you too much. Okay, that's what was deal. I knew I knew they had like yes, special powers. Like, yes, pretty yeah, yeah, on. On. Yours is gonna be good when you draw those super big off. spells. They go in your graveyard, you flip it over for them right back here and cast that twelve damage uh invocado I guess is whole uh, so so I killed it. Or something like that. <laughs> that's I did not intend to hit it that hard, but I did. Hi Ron, yes sir. I, I killed the ore dragon. Okay, Not that's fine. Not intending to, I killed him. Okay, great. That's fine. So the ore dragon is dead. Maybe great. Well, he doesn't regen on us. I'm sorry. You only did four. Oh, you only did four damage. Excuse me. No, no, no. I did. I did. I did one die six plus two. Yeah, so eight minus four. Because he's got four armor. Oh, he has four armor. So we're good. I was thinking oh, he had two. Oh, thank God. Good, good, good. Okay, so, so that's perfect. So he'll be down to two health, just like the fire dragon. Good, so. good, good, good. Okay, okay, good. That's actually great. So go ahead and, I think we uh, want to start mangling minions. Too. I would go, now at this point, I'd probably go after minions, yeah. Until the air so, dragon um, does whatever he's doing. You can kill Welps pretty easily. If you do eight damage, it kills the Welps straight off. So, uh, Otherwise, there is, there is one cultist that has two damage on it. It has two armor, and it has ten health left. Okay, very good. Nice. Wow. So 10, and he has two armor, which is 8. So 8 damage plus 2 is 10, so he's got two health left. Very nice. Okay, do you want me to turn this? Two calls. Just straight out those seven. I mean, does that... No, at this point, I'm just trying to cover the, the, the cameras and yeah. start to lose their batteries. So they're they're so they're yeah, what about now? Power down. Okay. But it's like, as much coverage as I can, or what I can't, I'm just going to store it. Okay, that's fine. I mean, this scenario with six people, it's going to be two, two hours, three hours, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. If you do well. 
to be honest with you, I'm not going to lie, I didn't expect you guys to do this well. I'm happy that you are, mm -hmm. but I mean, to be fair, I rolled pretty badly for the first couple of rounds, which really helps you guys out. Yeah. If I rolled good, you guys would have already been done. I'm really glad though you guys are doing good. So. It now, makes it for way more of an exciting video. As, as I recall, um, it gets to a point where like there's there's a way to level up these characters within the card game. Yes. So uh -huh. you so probably what, so would want to level them a bit before you try. Well, the... yeah. Keep in mind we're playing with a full party of people. Mm -hmm. um, it is all basic decks. Um, you know, we have a few new people, a few experienced people, but we are also playing it on the easiest difficulty of the dragons. Mm -hmm. So um, that being said, it's just, and also on the time scale. It's also uneasy. So we're doing it as easy as we can to give you guys the best opportunity to win it. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as I know, even at the adolescent stage, no one's ever beat it in North America. Okay. Now, I'm sure someone's at home probably going to be yelling at me right now going, I beat it a week ago or two, and that might be true. Mm -hmm. But this will be the first time it'll be on camera for the world to see. So we're excited. About that. <laughs> okay. You go right ahead and fire away, sir. First one. Why did you first one do same shape? Job you have. It's all. Oh, you got three parts. Yep. Uh, so this the air one is immune. If I were you, this is my suggestion. You do not have to listen to me. I would go after minions at this point. Um, you're going to be doing a lot of damage with that guy. So my suggestion would be either go for the other cultist that has taken no damage. Or maybe just try to kill a whelp outright. Um, if you do this cult, if that's hurt, that's fine. But if you do four damage, you're going to kill him. If you do ten damage, that's going to be way overkill. So I feel confident you could do at least four very easily. Um, so I'll let that be. Yeah, you just relax. Yeah, let's do. Let's talk about one a cultist that's not. Me. Okay, very good. Okay. So we will try the. Uh, animal shake. Yep. And that's a melee attack, so your melee number is... Melee is... Your sword plus number plus two, all your modifiers. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, very good. And that's a miss. That's a miss. Does anybody want to use a fake? Okay. He said, he said spend it. The next okay, one. all right, so go ahead and reroll it. And that's a critical success, so you're going to draw a card. Nice. Good use of the fate point. And now you're going to go ahead and roll your damage. And your damage is? 6 plus 2. Okay. So that's 8 plus 2 is 10. He has 2 armor. He takes 8 points of damage. Very good. You, you get to draw a card. Critical failure, you have to discard a card at random from your hand. Critical success, you get to draw a card. Okay. Um, the both the cultists wound at the same then? Um, this cultist can has. I, can I pick different targets with different attacks? Absolutely, yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah, different attacks are different targets all around. So each individual attack can be con completely separate from the other. So are they both going to be as 12 on it? Uh, so this guy needs. Uh, no. Um, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, he should not have 12, he should have 10. He only needs two. Five, six, seven, eight. I put too many on it. That's my mistake. So he only needs two more hit points to die. I added the two without taking the armor off. And then this guy, five, six, seven, eight, he needs four more damage to die. So six damage to kill here, four damage to kill here. Okay. Well, it's a die six plus six. That's another critical success. Congratulations. Go ahead and draw a card. Okay, very good job. All right, now roll that damage. So six, that's nine. So nine, and you're killing this guy? The one that had the more hit points. Okay, very good. So this guy is dead. Yes. So now, this is another thing that came up. Um, since you killed a minion, uh, this guy will permanently go away. He never goes back into the henchman deck. And you earn a fate point for killing a bad guy. Sweet. So congratulations on that. Okay. Yep. Every bad guy you kill, including heads, you earn a fate point for, for, a, uh, for a KIA. Okay. So then I'll do my range attack with that first skirt. Which is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. So that's two to hit. 
That's okay. a 10. And I'm assuming you're attacking the one that's already damaged to try to kill him. Yes. Very good. He only does a die six. That's why I wanted to wait for him. Absolutely. They're done doing it. Got so armor, just, right? just two damage. Yeah, yeah it's just a straight up die six. Yep, so just two damage. He does two armor, so no damage. Yeah, that's my regular attack. Does anybody have anything that can mitigate a damage die roll for your teammates? Oh, can I re-roll it with this? Unfortunately, you can't re-roll damage. Okay. I wish I could say yes, but no. No, that's good. It's a good question. It's a great question. Oh, wait a minute. How much did you miss by? On your, I didn't miss. I, or I'm, I'm sorry. On the, you, you missed with the damage. Okay. Well, I was, I'm sorry. I was thinking of Tears of Fire. Never mind. Yep. Yep. Never mind. Yeah, I just did two damage. You didn't, you didn't do enough damage. What type of damage was that? Or what type? Range? It was a range attack. Well aimed shot. Okay. Play it after a hero's damage roll to add four. Boom. There it is. Six. So that does six, which is enough to kill it. Congratulations. Okay. Real quick. Another, so uh, so, so real quick, I need to see your card real quick because I need to see who gets the kill. So. Happy day. Yeah, unfortunately he can't do it that much. Uh, yeah, it will be carries. <laughs> yes, yep, absolutely. He, he, he's got to go by what it yep, says. It's still his attack. It just has, I just wanted to make sure I read it and clarified it. So. All right, perfect. So we're down to three minions. We're down to two very low health dragons. Uh, come on, guys. Keep going. You're doing great. I'm, I'm really excited for you. This guy needs to not roll immunity. I, think I mean, honestly, immunity is the last thing you want in the next round, but the first couple of rounds worked out very well for you because it allowed you to focus on the ones to get them down, and it, he didn't do any like massive bad things. So I feel you, and actually come to think of it all, you came a long way in a very quick time all of a sudden. I have to agree here. You performed very well, and I'm very, I'm very uh, impressed, i got to be honest. The turn is it? been the game at all. So it's, yeah, well, that helps too. Oh, so, Carrie, did you have anything else you wanted no, to do on your turn? Know. Okay, so more suspect to yeah. you. So, John these. So, you already do your cards? Yeah. All right, very good. Um, this is not bad. This is really good for you. Let's see what you have in play. Okay, so that's on there. That's fine. Um, that's good. That's good. And that's good. So, you have six, uh, seven. No. I don't know. No, no. Okay, so that doesn't seem so important it's right now. it's not the best. It's not bad because you actually have the highest dodge roll out of everybody. Mm. So it, um, I would say you're not the starting player, and you're not going to be the starting player for a while. And because of that, the most of the attacks on the um, minions are going to go after the starting player. So therefore, you're not going to have to worry about dodging as much on that. The dragon heads themselves typically do damage to all of you guys at the same time, or a random hero. So you would probably not be that hero most times and not, so I would agree with you that this card won't be that key in play. So yeah, probably putting that out there. I would say if you were gonna be the first player or something to that effect, maybe. So now that's gonna give you a seven. Um, you're gonna need one to do that and one to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, excuse me, you have eight. So let's, you have six to play with because you need Two to attack, so six to play with, three to play this, uh, four to attack with it. Um, so that is two to play with and two to use, yeah. So yeah, that's perfect. So at this point then, you can go ahead and play your rapier for three. So if I drop the sling, that'll give me six. Nope, that'll give you six. And we'll put him right here on the, on the Yep, I'll let you do that. Right there. And then right at this point, you've got one, two, three, four, five. Um, you can go ahead and play your light leather grease for two. That, I should have thrown that on that. On that dragon. Put it wherever you want to put it. That's perfectly fine. And then um, you still have three left. You can do one uh, ranged attack and one melee attack. Uh, with the two left here, mm -hmm. and then you still have technically one left over. So I would do these two. You have one left over, and now you have also Greaves as well. Okay. You want Just because it'll be easier for me visually, I'm going to use that. One HP is not going to. I'm sorry. Easier for me visually. I'm just going to go ahead and use no, that for absolutely. the one attack, absolutely. and then that because then I'll remember I've got nice and whole. Yes, absolutely. Up. Okay. So, yeah, so go ahead and do that. D6 okay. plus five with full magnetic. D6 plus four with the bow. One D6 and seven. Okay. Four and seven. Okay. 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 Okay.
So that's my ranged attack. I'm going to go for one of the minions. Okay, and uh, what was your number to hit on range? Uh, it's a one shot. It'll be your bow number. So 14, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah. Yeah, 14. So you hit. All right, and then uh, your bow is a 1d6 plus 5 because of your poison. So roll a d6. So that's 10 damage. Uh, one of the dragon whelps is going to die. You are going to get a fake point. All right. Okay. Score. Score. That's perfect. Now you want to go ahead and do your rapier, rapier attack. attack. Very good. Yeah. So you're going to go ahead and spend your other endurance. Okay. Doesn't matter which one. Okay. That was for the one yep. attack. And this was. For... Yep. And then you're going to exhaust your rapier to show you your attack with that. Go ahead and exhaust your circle too, whatever you have. Just to, just to indicate that you're doing it. My mind's in three places. No, I understand 100%. <laughs> so you're doing just fine. So go ahead and roll that number. I'll help you out here. Uh, that's a three, so that's definitely a hit. And then it's going to do 1d6 plus three damage, and I'm assuming you're going to attack the other dragon ball. So go ahead and do that. So that's nine. That's uh, another dragon ball down. You're going to get another fate point. So that's amazing. Uh, okay. Uh, I think that's probably going to be in, uh, your turn, Mark, if I'm not mistaken. Doug, you're up. Okay, end of the round. Very good. Thank you. All right, so the end of the round, this is going to go to you. So here's you. Uh, well, we're gonna see. You are only down to one dragon wealth, so that's good. So your ability that is a skill check for the next one. Yeah, that's yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, yeah, magic test will actually work. Oh, it'll work from the aircraft? It will, even with the minute, because it's only for attacks and less than five. So, well, this is going to get removed either way, so it doesn't matter at this point. But yes, you're right. So we're going to go ahead and do the four. You rolled an eight. Every henchman makes an attack roll, or an action roll, excuse me. So that's okay. It's only one dragon whelp, so that could be a lot worse. Fourteen. The hero with the most fate points must discard a fate point. If it's a tie, okay, so who, who are the ties? No, no, we have to do it at random. And I appreciate the offer, but, uh, I mean, we don't have to. I guess I can just help you guys. But, uh, yeah, I like random too. So this guy... Uh, we got just two people with two, is that right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Alright. Okay. Mike, I'm gonna let you pick again, so there's two tokens in front of you here. And I'm gonna let you just throw one out on the table. Yeah, we fucked up a little bit. Alright, very good. Well, since I'm not in there this time. Oh, we're good! <laughs> <laughs> so it was Morris, so Morris should have discarded. Sorry, Morris. <laughs> That's perfect. All right. He just earned a two by killing the dragon well, so he's fine. I'll, he'll just, I'll just find a pillow over my face and I'll be taken out. That's right. <laughs> okay, so that is technically his action. So now we're going to go to the air. A six is going to be every hero suffers 1d6 plus four. Damage? Damage. It is damage. So, uh, it is the air dragon, and it is a ranged attack. So, is, does anybody have anything they can do to make me mitigate my damage roll? My attack? Okay, I just want to make that clear. Before we get started. So, go, everybody go ahead and roll for dodge. Everybody roll a d20 for dodge. Oh, no. no, the damage is. I haven't rolled the damage yet. You guys have to roll dodge. First. Take, attack, you, please. But if I roll damage and you want to mitigate that, you certainly can. Okay. So everybody's rolled. Morris, did you roll for your dodge? I did not. Okay. Doug, would you roll for me? Uh, why don't you go ahead and do it? Oh, Michael. Okay, never mind. That's okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Check in. I don't know. 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 So it's D6 plus 4 is going to be 8 damage. So if you succeed in it, it's uh, your, your dodge, it's four. Good call. Yeah. Good call. Yeah, the cats. All right, so five and three. Hey, that guy will come in handy. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's it. It's like a four or five hour game. Yep. If you guys have any armor and you want to mitigate that damage that you take after your dodge, roll, absolutely by all means. Alright, everybody ready to next attack? Alright, very good. No, we go Oh, that's a four. Uh, every hero suffers 2d6 damage. So roll for dodge, guys. Don't fail me, guys. Oh, I fancy 
You made it. <laughs> Alright, everybody roll for their dodge. Go ahead, Morris. Wow. It looks like almost everybody made it. Alright, so I'm gonna roll 2d6 damage. Four. And a four. So eight damage. So you take okay, go ahead. You guys want me to use this again. What is it again? So explain it. Oh, re-roll my damage. At an eight. It works again last time. Are you sure you don't want to go a little gambly here? Yeah, no, that's All right. They're, they're happy with that. Yeah, you take that. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, yeah, it was the fire. All right, so I'm going to get two. Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Uh, that means he dies. Okay, that's fine. So that's okay. So what happened? I don't care. No, no, I know. So what happened was is that. Uh, Andy's got a the cat, and so every time he gets attacked by a, an enemy, the cat automatically does two damage, and because it's loss of life too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's loss of life, so it ignores the armor. So the uh, fire dragon is actually going to be defeated. Okay, that's not the worst thing in the world because you guys are getting really close anyway, and you're going to have a few rounds to play with. So what's going to happen is the fire head dragon is actually going to be defeated. So what I'm going to do to indicate that is I'm going to turn to the side and I'm going to skull token on it. So what now is going to happen is I am going to take these specific tokens and I'm going to put four of them out next to them. Okay? Two of them will be the exact same side. The other two will have dragon eyes on them. At the beginning of my subsequent rounds, I will flip one of them. At, the, at any point there are two eyes, this head will get resurrected and have full health. So at the very worst, we have two rounds to kill this thing. Yes, it, with two rounds to kill the rest of the injuries. I feel confident gone. you guys can too. Oh. So that's fine. Oh, and you know what? You do get a fake one to kill him. So there is some consolation. All right. Um, <laughs> that's right. So that being said, I have to drag him up and then we can move 19, the wealth draws breath. So, there we go. Uh, I am going to remove a time counter. Uh, now, this is four, so this is what's going to happen. I draw one leader action card. Here, alright, this is probably going to be bad. Indestructible. The giant wyvern ore. Roll a d6 and place this card next to the designated head, which is going to be the dragon. One or two left. Three or four, middle, five or six, right. If the life sinks to zero or below, this card is hard and set its health to a number of heroes times a d6. So basically, if you kill it, then he gets to discard this card and gain life back. It's a second chance. Alright, yeah. So that's what's gonna happen. So I roll it, I roll a d6. Uh, right, but I have to roll a d6 to place it. So it says here, it, it's the, the indestructible is the war. It says roll a d6 and place this card next to the designated head. On a 1 or 2, it's the left dragon. On a 3 or 4, it's the middle. If it's the right dragon, it goes away because that dragon is dead. So you guys are hoping for a 5 or 6. 5 or 6. How about a good old fashioned 6? How about a good old fashioned 6, boys? How about that? So that's dice like curse, but thank you. That was huge, guys. That was huge. Alright, so that is my end of my round. You guys now have moved the extra token. Go ahead and untap everything. Draw your cards. Remember if you have uh, if you have things that you can do as a reaction and you didn't have the endurance or you cannot play them until you turn around. 99%. Yes. Yep. Great.
anybody want to use a fake point to let Mike re-roll the whole thing? All right, there you go, re-roll. Don't fail me now. That's a hit. That's a hit. We'll take that. Next one. That was seven. Plus is one because I have the dragon. Is it? It's a test, right? So, you're, so how much total damage are you doing? Don't, you don't worry about my eight, eight minus two. Okay, very good. So I'm gonna take seven damage. Very good. So seven is up. Right. Well, that's that was my magic attack. Okay, I'm going to do the jam on the same time. Very good. This is that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Four armors. How much damage did you do? Six. So it's 
so that does exactly two. All right, you're going to get a fake point. You guys want to clean up the well? You know what? I'm still sitting here. Let's do it. You got one more well to go, and you guys are all officially become, as far as I know, the first North Americans to defeat the giant hybrid of Adventure. So this is really exciting for me personally. Yeah. The theme music used for this podcast, Orc March by Snowflake, featuring Wolf Sebastian and Spinning Merkaba, is available from CC Mixter under the Creative Commons Attribution 3.0 license. You can find it at dig.ccmixter.org or find a direct link to it and its license information in our Blind Sense podcast descriptions. Hey kids, those of you who are eagle-eyed viewers, who are definitely not our Mike, noticed that Mike from last year, guy in the red shirt, sat down to the table shortly before the dragon was killed and uh, also 
Did you notice that it was another Mike who delivered the killing blow? What is it about guys named Mike, do you figure? Anyway, thanks to Ron for running the game and letting us get this video done in the first place. And apologies to him and pretty much everybody else that I didn't turn this out much faster. But you know what my favorite thing was out of the whole show? Doug was so obsessed with what that meteorite would do if we could have dug it up. And Ron's response was perfect. I don't want to tell you. You'll enjoy it more if it happens in the game. And what I love about that is not, I can't tell you. Or it would be against some sort of rules for me to tell you. No, I don't want to tell you. <laughs> Suck on that, Doug. So if you want to know what the secret of the meteorite is, you could always buy the game. Or you could email Mike a question at volantrix at gmail.com. That's volantrix spelled V-A-L-A-N-T-R-I-X.